Tonight, that boy's autopsy results are still pending, and police, while calling this case tragic, are keeping the details of it close to the vest. Now, those who knew and loved that little boy say this never should have happened, especially while living in a system that should have kept him safe. Uh, he loved dancing. He loved singing. He loved investigating for bugs. He loved being outside. He was just a 10-year-old little boy. On a quiet suburban street in Liberty Township near Valparaiso, Dakota Levi Stevens will never get to play outside again, his death leaving neighbors and loved ones heartbroken. He had a smile that just made you forget everything. Last Thursday, around 2.30 p.m., police say paramedics were called to the 200 block of Falcon Way for what they say was a medical emergency. We're told first responders performed CPR and rushed him to the hospital where he died over the weekend. He deserves justice. I mean, this kid was dealt a, I mean, a wrong hand at life. Hayden Hetzel was Dakota's foster dad for nearly three years, beginning in 2019. He could talk your ear off, honestly. He shares that he tried to adopt him, but says DCS moved the boy to a facility for children with behavior issues. Hayden and his mom, Sabrina, say Dakota was only just placed into the Liberty Township home late last month. He died in the hands of foster care. In a statement, the Indiana Department of Child Services said in part, our entire staff is heartbroken by this news. DCS works with stakeholders and partners across the state to investigate the death of a child anytime there is suspected abuse or neglect and will take the appropriate action. Relatives say the boy's biological and former foster families were initially told by the state that they couldn't attend the boy's funeral. But we are told tonight that DCS contacted those loved ones and said they can pay their final respects after all. Since his death, a social media campaign took off called Justice for Dakota. He will be laid to rest on Monday, followed by a candlelight vigil later that evening. Reporting live in Porter County, Indiana, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.